Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, fam. And I'm just here to just kick your ball for a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? I thought this particular story gave me a little chuckle here and there. (laughs) Because this is where the church leaders, pastors, ministers, rabbis are going. You can leave me the hell out of it. I will not step another foot in a church, synagogue, or house of prayer. Because, no, no, the two don't match. The two don't match. You want us all high up in church? You know, thinking we're getting the Holy Spirit. And the only thing we get is that we cutting up on us. Or you got the ones that going to overdose and shit. And so, Mr. Brian, okay. I can't even say Pastor Brian because he don't lost his damn mind. He has come up to the fact. And I'm like, just say, why did you marry him? And your three girls are going to be uh, tortured in the social media world. And just on their, uh, in their school endeavors and whoever they hang out with. They're going to be thinking they the girls, the go-to girls, to go get them some weed so they can smoke it up. You know, how they say it. Big y'all say say it. Fuck it up. They are going to be fucking it up. And the paddy wagon is just going to sit there on Sunday morning and catch the ones that's coming out of church spaced out. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a hot mess. But I didn't want to go to the rest of the bloggers that were trying to cover it. I wanted to see what the church folks were saying about this. Okay? Since it's there on holy ground, I want to see what the holy than thou religious uh, Bible built beaten folks are thinking about Jamal Bryant. Okay, um, I got it from churchleaders.com. It's titled Jamal Bryant Wants His Church to Go Cannabis. Another word for it, weed, marijuana, who weed, okay, and to teach black men to legally farm it. Now, my whole thing about it is, okay, Jamal, what are you going to do about these people that are already in the streets selling dope? Okay? What are you going to do about those, uh, how do you call them, lieutenants or, you know, men that think they're over another sector, these gangs out here? Do you really think they are going to let you infringe upon their livelihood? Because, you know, hey, they were there for you, uh, Mr. Bryant. So I would like to see that, how that's going to pan out. But anyway, going into the article, it says, Jamal Bryant, pastor of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, located in the suburb of Atlanta, Georgia, told actress Rasha Ali that he suggested to his deacons that they begin legally raising cannabis in an attempt to attract young black men to the church. But you're going to you're gonna supply them with something they can sell on the street that's breaking down the black community as we speak. You know how many people Jamal are strung out on substance? Whether it's alcohol, whether it's drug, whether it's uh, medical drugs being sold out on the street. And now you want to have, or you want to be the first pilot, you want to be the first church that outright come out and say they're selling, they're growing weed. I mean, what does our legislation say about that? Because last I checked, it was illegal. It was a legal situation. So I know most people don't want to believe that church churches in every state is a business and if you find something religious out of it and you're you living your your life appropriately good for you but it seems to me all the churches are going to hell and if you don't know your master you serve for yourself god help you okay get a bible read it every day all right but anyway, going back to the article, it says the interview took place on Ali's Cool Solar Pass podcast in an episode titled Holy Smoke. Earlier this month, December 7th, to be exact, during the interview, Brian suggested that mega churches would soon die if churches don't start reinventing themselves. But he's going to say, 
he wants to re what do you call it redesign the footprint or blueprint for having a successful church and having successful people come to Christ. Okay. Uh he wanna institute selling weed. Now, just off the bat, you think that is crazy. But see, he's thinking of the monetary aspect. See, we got oh we got old COVID sit out here doing his thing, which is really it has downplayed to like getting the flu. You be off your uh feet for about a week or two and then it goes back. But you know, every everybody's situation different everybody's current illnesses that they have when they're trying to combat open uh to you know have you some murky waters but uh he's thinking that's the biggest thing that church boards need to promote and i guess you get a license to say all that we can't even get a license to use um weed or marijuana to cure cancer you know these folks have to go to you know, different to be able to uh, use the uh, weed situation or the, the, the serum part, not the actual smoking, but the serum part, and uh, combating some of their illnesses. We're still on the verge of trying to get that together. And now he's saying he wants everything to change and only the mega churches can get involved in selling, raising, farming the Uwe. Really, really, really. But going back to the article, it says Bryant became the church pastor in 2018. After a long time controversial Pastor Bishop Ed alone died in 2017. There were ones that don't know uh, about the church and the church history. When uh, Bishop Ed Long was uh, presiding over that uh, church, they had put a uh, thing out that he was doing something with young boys, okay? And it pretty much tore his whole legacy up of what he was doing there at the church as well as his family members. He brought shame to the community as well as to his family. All right. Uh, and you can always go research and Google it. And you'll come up with some interesting details of what I'm trying to relate in this video regarding the late Bishop Long. But anyway, going back to the article, it said Long at one time grown the church to an estimated 25,000 members. But those numbers dwindled at the four men who attended the church accused Long of coercing them into sexual relationships. Since Bryant's installation, the church has grown despite their new pastor's infidelity, which led to his divorce in 2009. The outspoken pastor who recently slammed U.S. Senate candidate Herschel Walker during a, a sermon and reminded, all, or reminded Ali that he told his congregation at the Supreme Court abortion ruling in June that he and New Birth Missionary Baptist Church are pro-choice because Jesus is. Going on to give the example of Adam and Eve being given the choice to eat of the tree and the garden to paint gods as pro-choice. Christianity in and unto itself is pro-choice. But we don't say anything because a lot of black churches are white evangelists in drag. And they don't know who it is that they are because their politics are thrown off and they don't really speak to what's happening in the culture, Brian. After being asked how he is leading the effort to try to change the narrative and making sure that more people think like this, Brian said, I'm mindful that I'm not after Christians. He went on to say that he is after people who don't go to church. I don't know what he meant by that statement because he's just one of those poor things. He's leading more so with his high than he's uh, leading with catch capturing souls. Uh, going back to the article, he says, uh, so many churches are just recycling people that come from other churches, he said. That's not who I'm after. I'm looking for people that smell like weed. New Birth is the largest land-owning black church in America. And so my position to my deacons is, why aren't we not raising cannabis? Brian, who led the memorial service for rappers Tupac Shakur and Christopher George Latour Wallace, the tourist beatitude, believes that if the church began growing cannabis, he would be able to bring in black males. They're able to do it legally, teaching them farming, helping them to enhance the ecosystem. Predicting the response of the black boy who hears about them growing weed at the church, Brian said. Where do I join? I don't need no pamphlet for him. He's coming in because that's the group that I'm going after. 
And I don't know if he has the same Lord that I pray to on a daily basis. I don't know where he's going with the scenario, but ones who can see uh, the forest for the trees, who can know what's hidden in plain sight. A lot of these pastors are not pastors. They're actually demons, okay? And sheep's clothing, how you would say. A little bit too much for me. A little bit too much for me. But you thought this was something. Well, you keep living how my mom used to tell me. Or my grandma used to tell me. Keep living. You'll see things come to pass. So that's all I got. Ain't got no more. And I will see y'all on the next video. Good night.